Okay, in measuring temperature, we need a thermometric material. In measuring temperature, we need to use thermometric uh, material. There are actually three types of uh, thermometric materials. One being a liquid in a column. Number two is being the resistance of a conductor. Number three is the EMF of the um, conductor that is generated. Okay, in this, in the using of this three type of thermometric material, actually there is one single principle. Okay. The single principle is a change of the physical property physical properties of the thermometric material is linear to the change in temperature okay. if the change is not linear then the material is not suitable for example you measure the change in liquid length in a column in a mercury thermometer they say this is the length of mercury column and this is zero degree c then the change 200 degree c you can measure that this length they say it is an x right so now if i can measure the, the temperature of a, a substance they say it show me the length of y because of um, my assumption is the change in the physical property meaning the length of the liquid in the column is linear to the change in temperature and through the emets concept or proportionality concept i'm able to calculate what is the temperature of the substance when the length is y Okay, simply put, you can draw a, a graph of this say length then versus temperature. And then you put in CM. Alright, so of course when you you will calibrate your this um, length in liquid column, you start with zero. This is to 100. Then you measure the length here. Is at this point? Then it is linear, meaning the line is a straight line. And then here is measure as is measure as x. X. Okay. So what do I mean by when I measure? Um, the temperature of a of liquid or a substance is y meaning y is like this here right so by the means of graph i'm able to actually find out this temperature theta here okay so when i i want when i represent in a graph you can tell like this however we do not draw graph every time we solve a problem we will use a simple fact that if I want to find theta, then theta in degrees Celsius will be equal to the properties of the, the physical property of the substance, let's say liquid in our column, at theta minus away, let's say the freezing point. Here it is zero, is zero degrees Celsius. Divide by the property of the materials at 100 degree 
Celsius minus property of the material at 0 degrees Celsius. So you can see the numerator and the denominator. The denominator is actually the length of the liquid column when it is calibrated from 0 degree Celsius to 100 degree Celsius. This is the length of X. Okay, now if I want to know the temperature of the length of Y, for example, I call it theta. Then if I'm given the length, actually I'm able to, cal to, to calculate using this formula. The ratio of the length multiplied by the calibrated temperature range, which is 100 degrees Celsius. And I'm able to read the temperature at any point of the time along the graph here. So this is the generic formula of the to read temperature depending on the change in the physical property of um, a, a thermometric material. This can be used for either a mercury thermometer or even alcohol. or even a resistance thermometer. Okay, that's it.